So now for custom CSS, we're going to move on to the next part. So what we need to do is add in this assistant section to our widget. Now this will let you override a bunch of different settings on the agent. So you can override the title, description, image. So some of those things that you remember seeing in the customizer in chat, obviously this lets you do it in code form. So you can be dynamic with it. But what we really care about here is a style sheet. This is going to allow us to override the CSS. Now the way to do it with this code is to actually put in the URL of a CSS file that you have. You can host this on GitHub. You just need something that ends with .css, and you can just put it in here, and it'll override the CSS. So let's go ahead and actually walk through adding it in here. And you can see that there is a list of classes in the React Chat repository on GitHub that you can use, but we'll just go through and actually copy all the styles. So the first thing we need to do is add in this section. And you can see it just goes right under your production version ID. But let's just get GPT to do it. Can you add in? this section on assistant. And let's just copy this example. Great. So it gave us everything, but we can just go ahead and actually just remove this section here. So let's go and copy this over to our Webflow part. So we'll just drop in the new widget here. And we don't need any of these, so let's just get rid of them. Great. So now we've got style sheet, and now basically I just need to add in my hosted CSS. So let's figure out what we want to change here. So let's check out some of the different classes that we can change here. So in this document, it kind of breaks it all down. And I can see that for assistant responses, this is what I can use to target the styling just for the assistant messages. So let's use this. And I'm going to say to GPT, write CSS to make. OK, cool. So I've got some pretty easy uh, CSS here. So I could go and change this into a CSS file. But I'm going to show you one more trick just in case you don't want to actually host a CSS file or you don't know how, although I would recommend doing that, is you can also use something called a data URL, which basically just converts CSS into a URL that you can include here. So I'm going to say data URL. And now it's going to go ahead and actually do this. So it's going to convert it into base64, and then it's going to add in this part. So once this is done, we're just going to go ahead and copy this over. So let's copy this into our widget here, where we is expecting a style sheet. So this URL should work as well. And yep, that looks good. So let's hit Save and publish that and see if it worked. OK, that's deployed. Let's go check it out. We've got our web chat agent on the bottom here. And there we go. So now the background on our messages is black and the text is white. So quick and easy how to be able to go and customize the CSS. If you're good with CSS, you can do some pretty crazy stuff. But that's it for this section. So we were able to get some proactive messages on here, customize the CSS. You can also customize the CSS of these messages. And next up, what we're going to do is we are going to play around with extensions and actually embed a custom form into our widget to replace that back and forth that we have during the ticket collection or the book at sales process.